Hello, and in this video I'm going to look at how you can learn SQL. I'm Philip Burton of filecats.co.uk. But first of all, what is SQL? Well, when you think about Microsoft SQL, the first thing that probably comes to mind is TSQL. TSQL focuses on select statements and is short for Transact Structured Query Language. It is Microsoft's interpretation of the SQL programming language. But there are other aspects to SQL Server. Database Administration, or DBA, focuses on the SQL Server engine and databases. Instead of querying data, you manage them, including patching and backups. SQL Server Reporting Services, or SSRS, allows you to create reports based on database data. SQL Server Analysis Services, or SSAS, creates cubes or models of your existing data. Cubes are used in the SSAS MDX version, that's multidimensional expressions, and can be difficult to set up. Models are created in the SSAS tabular version. Once set up, both cubes and models can make your analysis quicker and easier to interrogate. In SQL Server Integration Services, or SSIS, you create data flaws. This enables you to transform your data from one form to another. So when you wonder how you can learn SQL, your first question should be, what aspect of SQL do you want to learn? What would be the best introduction? Well, it depends on your requirements. However, basically there are two different job types, a data role, whether that is for data analysis or data scientist, or a database administration role. Either way, I would suggest that you start with TSQL. You will then be able to create select statements, create tables, and insert as many roles of data as you want. If you want a data role, then you should master SQL select statements. If you want a DBA role, then you need enough knowledge of TSQL to use it in the real world for your DBA needs. Once you understand the basics of SQL Server, you can then expand on it. If you want a database administration role, then you can then concentrate on learning DBA. If you want a data role, then I'd suggest looking at SSRS next. SSAS and SSIS are more specialized and can be left until later. Either path would be a great introduction to SQL Server. One of your best supports for learning SQL Server is practicing on your computer. And you can do this if you install Microsoft SQL Server on your computer. It's free and it can be downloaded onto your Windows laptop or desktop. There are two main versions that I can recommend. Microsoft SQL Server Developer Edition. This fully featured version includes the features in the full price Enterprise Edition. While you are not licensed to use it for commercial purposes, it is ideal for learning SQL. And Microsoft SQL Server Express Edition. This has fewer features than the Developer Edition. However, it installs more quickly in less hard drive space. It is also licensed for commercial use. If you want to learn more than just TSQL, then please download the Developer Edition. It gives you more database administration functionality. It also comes with the components needed for SSIS, SSAS, and SSRS. Once you have installed this, you will have the back engine to SQL Server. You will also need a front engine, which allows you to have a user interface. This front engine is different, depending on what aspect of SQL Server you want to learn. If you want to learn SSIS, SSAS, or SSRS, then the easiest front engine you can use is Microsoft's Visual Studio. The free Community Edition is aimed at personal use. If you want to use it for SSIS, SSAS, or SSRS, then there are some added needers. For Visual Studio 2017 or earlier, then you will need to install SQL Server Data Tools. For Visual Studio 2019 or later, then you will need to install additional components within SQL Server. Do you want to create TSQL statements or learn database administration? If so, you should install SQL Server Management Studio. This front end is a user interface for SQL Server and allows you to execute TSQL queries. Again, it is free. So maybe you have already installed SQL Server and SSMS. You can then open SSMS and connect to your database. 
If you have done a standard installation of SQL Server, then your database would either be localhost, which is one word, or dot. From within SSMS, you can now create your first TSQL queries. You can do this by using one of the built-in system tables. An example of this is sys.objects, sys.objects in the master database. So you can write the following tsql command, select star from master.sys.objects. This will display every single row and column in that table. From there, you can narrow it down. For example, if all you want is the object ID column, then you can change the code to select object ID from master.sys.objects. Success! You have now created your first TSQL command. Now, if you want to learn SQL Server, you should have a structured way of doing this. In determining what you should learn, I would turn to the experts. Microsoft had two exams relating to TSQL called 70-461 and 70-761. Microsoft also had an exam for DBAs called 70-462. The requirements for these exams are very useful for determining what you should know. Mastery of these requirements means a high level of skill in TSQL or DBA. Sadly, these exams are no longer offered. However, the requirements are still useful. Why not have a look at these requirements and see how your current skill levels compare? Have you identified requirements that you need? This is when an online course could assist you in your learning experience. Why not have a look at my video courses on Udemy? In my video course for TSQL, I teach all of the requirements of the 70-461 and 70-761 exams. You'll learn how to create an SQL database and our first tables and functions. Then we'll take a deep dive into the select statement. I'll show you how to remember the order of the six principal clauses. This is a standard interview question for job applicants to a data analyst role. We'll then go deeper with queries, triggers, procedures and functions. And then we'll build on your knowledge, going further with TSQL. Once you've mastered these requirements, you can feel confident with TSQL. You can now use your newfound SQL knowledge in creating select statements. This will allow you to retrieve data in other environments such as Python, Excel, Tableau, Power BI and other applications. Do you want to learn a different aspect of SQL Server? Then please have a look at my other courses. Go to udemy.com or my website falcats.co.uk. Why not have a look at what you could learn? If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and why not subscribe and click the bell right next to it. That way you'll be notified of any new uploads. Thank you very much for watching and keep learning.